Hey everyone, Mtash here, and I wish future Mtash could have told past Mtash all about these artifacts because I made some dumb mistakes, but I learned from them. And now I'm sharing this info with you so that you can have the best artifacts in the game and honestly make them two, three, even four times better than they would have been. Now I want to explain this because on many of the artifacts that you're going to get, you're going to get wasted stats. Stats that don't really help you like defense, which I did a whole video on how it's not really a good stat. If you're looking to do the most damage possible and destroy enemies before they even hit you, well, you're going to need to follow this guide. It's going to save you resources, it's going to save you time, and it's actually a really simple system once you understand it. So let's get started on how these artifacts work. We'll talk about how to farm for artifacts after, but this system can be used even when you're a low level if you're using blue gear and you want to start getting, uh, getting some bonuses for your character. Okay, sound good? Let's do this. All right, so we're gonna start at the top here and we're gonna look at a couple of upgraded items and I wanna talk about the stats on it. So with the Gladiator's Nostalgia that I have here, any of the five star items you can see are rolling with four stats on it already. They're right there, these are unupgraded and they still have four stats. Now four stats is the most that you can have on any artifact. Uh, on this blue one, you'd be able to upgrade and get four. On this purple one, I've got four. You can't get higher than four. But every four levels that you upgrade an artifact, one of two things will happen. Number one, if you upgrade an item to level four, it will get another stat. Or if it's got full stats, it will upgrade one of those stats. And that happens every four levels. Now... A blue artifact can only be leveled up to 12, so you could get essentially three extra stats on it, or two and an upgrade depending on the blue. And with a purple, it upgrades to level 16, so you could max out the stats and then get a couple upgrades. Now, with a five star, you've got all the stats on there already, so at level four, at level eight, 12, 16, and at 20, you're going to upgrade one of these stats as well as the base stat. So that is where a lot of the value comes in. But this video isn't about maxing out five starred artifacts because that's going to take a lot of time. This is about turning even your blue artifacts into god rolls. It's about turning your purples into great DPS boosting purples that are going to carry your team for a long, long time until you can replace them. So I'm going to show you an item here. This item here, it's not perfect. But if we were to level it up to four, which I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get another stat. All right, so we're gonna enhance it to level four and you can see that it says adds one new bonus attribute. So we're gonna enhance this and we're gonna see, wow, we actually got crit rate. So this is a, this is a situation where I actually got lucky. Uh, this is what you would want to happen. Now the HP, HP is always what you get on flowers. There's nothing you can do about this one, but these stats here uh, are randomized. Now, you could get two or three of them to pop up, and it could be attack, crit rate, crit damage, right? You could get elemental um, mastery. There's uh, multiple stats on there. But when you're adding one in, you don't know what it's going to be. So what you would want to do is you'd want to pick an item that had hypothetically, the attack, the crit damage, and the crit rate. And then when you leveled it to four, hopefully you got a good stat. Now, in my case, uh, I had defense on here already. Not a great stat, but it's not the end of the world. But I ended up getting crit rate. So now, at level eight, one of these stats will get upgraded. At level 12, another upgrade. Level 16, the final upgrade because it's a purple item. And so it could roll defense all of the times, and that would really, really suck. But it could also roll crit rate each time. And so this Exile's Flower has actually turned out to be a pretty damn good item and something I would consider. Now, I would say that the Flower is one of the lower priorities because a lot of enemies aren't gonna one-hit you in this game. You can do this process with even just like a blue. So in this case, I had HP, I had attack, and I rolled on and I got HP again. So this one, not great. This one here, I've got attack, 
I've got crit damage, and I've got attack again. So I'm actually going to enhance this, and we're going to see what we get. But the idea here is you would roll to level 4, you'd level it up to 4, and see if you get a third good stat. And then, if you do that, you would then go for the fourth. And if you got all four of them, then you would upgrade it to the max level, and you'd probably use that on a character. So, we're gonna grab a couple items here, bop, bop, and hope for the best! HP. Now, we got HP percentage, that's not the worst, but if you're looking for a god roll, the absolute best artifacts, this one would be probably dead in the water. Now, if I leveled it up to 8, and I ended up getting a good roll, awesome. That's great. But unfortunately, I'm probably going to disband this one. I'm not going to use it. I can use it for experience because you get like 85% or something like that, 75%. I don't know what it is. You get that experience. So if I go and fuse this into another thing, you can see, if I was to go into this one, enhance it, and I use one of these level 4 feathers. Where are you? Okay. So if I was to use this level 4 feather... It is going to go all the way to level 3 in one feather. That one, taking it to 5. So you're going to get that experience back, so it's not really the end of the world if you test these out. Now, some of the blue and purple items are going to have one less stat. And that means you're rolling the dice an extra time. So even though this has attack and attack percentage, you probably wouldn't want to try to do this one. You could get really, really lucky, but you're missing, you know, a little bit too much information here. And you're also not going to be upgrading these stats, right? Because the first few levels are just going to be adding a stat on. They're not going to be leveling it up. So you would want to pick something that's got a couple on there so that you can hopefully get two new good stats and then an upgrade. And it's even more important once you get into the purple items, right? If you've got purple items and you're trying to level these up, you would want the three stats and you'd want all three of them to be good. There are some purples right here. Like this is a purple. It's only got two stats on here. This is actually a bad purple. Now, if you have, you know, attack and crit or something like that, that's that's fine. That's good. But optimally, you would want, you know, a couple good ones. You'd want a couple stats that you like. I mean, this thing, this thing's a piece of trash. This one's an absolute piece of trash. This one, we've got crit damage, elemental mastery, crit rate, all good stats. The defense sucks. But you would not want to be leveling up stuff like this. And I have leveled them up because I'm an idiot. And I, and I wanted some attack, and, and they work in my set gear. But screw the set gear. Screw the set bonuses. At this point, if you're getting rolls like this, when you could have had rolls with a bunch of percentage crit and crit chance, you're just throwing away damage. You might be a little bit tankier, but you need to be upgrading the items that already have good stats on it. See, a cup like this on Venti, this would be god roll. This would be absolute god roll. And we're going to enhance this one. We're going to check because it's got animal damage, we've got crit rate, we've got crit damage, we've got attack. So this chalice is, is pretty much god rolled for someone like Jean or Venti. We've got animal damage, we've got crit rate, we've got crit damage, we've got attack. And so for 5,000 Mora, this is 5,000 Mora down here, and a couple artifacts, we're going to be able to test and see if this is a god roll. Let's see what we got. Maybe lucky? Oh my god! This is, this is literally god roll. This is literally a god roll. We've got all damage, and now we've got energy recharge to get the, the Q ability, the elemental burst back. So in a situation like this, this is something you keep. This is something you would level up. This thing is insanity. And it's really simple to test for it. It's a very small cost. And now we know for damn sure that if you're investing in this, I'm going to get better stats. So I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to I'm going to enhance this thing because there's no way this isn't an upgrade. We're going to uh we're going to just start adding in some materials. We're going to level it up and we're going to see where this thing ends up. This is perfect. I'm glad I got this on camera for a video. All right. So now we got to level 8. We got one of the upgrades on the other stats and you know whichever one gets picked, it's valuable. In this case, we got a whole bunch more crit rate. So, I mean, this is nutty! We got more crit damage, always a good stat, but you can see that if you're getting uh, uh, the bonuses to the actual damage stats and not some random HP or defense, how much these can ramp up, right? I've got another level up still. So I could hypothetically get 15% more crit damage instead of just 4, right? The crit chance got doubled, 
And if you hit the wrong stat when you're upgrading these, you might end up with a very, very subpar weapon depending on the luck. Even if you've got one bad stat on it, hypothetically, it could roll that stat every single time for the one that gets upgraded. And then you have a fraction of the damage. Now, if you do this on every single artifact, holy cow, all of a sudden, you've got double the damage, maybe even triple the damage from all of your artifacts. And another flat boost to my attack. We doubled the attack on the item, we more than doubled the crit rate, and we doubled the crit damage. Now, if that's not incredible, if that's not a showcase of how valuable this can be, then I don't know what is. I don't know what is. This is now a massive upgrade. I think on Venti, like, this is li li like literally just a straight... Yeah, look at, look at this. Look at this. This is fine. Like, yo, this is fine. Exile's Goblet. But compared to this? Are you kidding me? This is gonna be way more damage. Switch that out. We are absolutely gaming. And the goal here would just be do that with each piece. Is your helmet okay? I mean, what is this? Why did I upgrade this? I think I upgraded this for a bounty. Crit damage on top? HP? Defense? Defense? What is this? This thing is trash. I need to replace this immediately. Hell, even this one's probably gonna be better because it's got attack, elemental mastery, crit damage. Don't settle with these artifacts. Make sure you've got a good main stat and don't upgrade items that's got multiple stats that you don't want. Hunt around, find one that looks promising, Test it out, maybe. I mean, that's got healing, so no. <laughs> but uh, this is a really easy way to check and see if these items are going to be top tier. You know, this one here, probably worth it. It's got some attack, crit rate, energy recharge. Those are all good stats. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the stats side of it. Let's talk about actually farming for these artifacts. Now, there are a lot of chests in game, right? All over this map, there are chests. There's thousands of chests. And you're going to get some items from it. And from the shrines that require those keys, you're going to get some artifacts from it. But one of the big ones is, is from bosses. So as you start fighting bosses, uh, they are going to start dropping artifacts. You know, Gladiator set, the Berserker set. Um, but there's also going to be the domains. Now, I have a recommendation for you. You're going to start getting artifacts while fighting some of the bosses and stuff. And you're naturally going to get some upgrades uh, as you play. But I would focus 100% of your resin, 100% of your time, on other domains early on. I would focus on getting weapons upgraded. I would focus on ascending your character by fighting bosses. I would focus on getting the talent books that you need. And I would wait until all the way until AR40. I know, that sounds like a long time. You probably want some good artifacts now. But the ones you have are going to get you by. And I know that you might see some of these artifacts and you're like, damn, physical damage up 25%? That sounds amazing. And it does. Absolutely. But unfortunately, until you get to AR40, a lot of the drops that you're going to get from this, it's not worth the resin, in my opinion. You can get some purples, absolutely. But once you get to AR40, you're getting a lot of purples. Like, guaranteed purples. And then you have chances of getting the golds. Now, at AR-45, you're getting more increased chances, but at AR-40, you can get a lot more artifacts, and you're guaranteed to get a lot more purples, and that's going to be kind of the first step up. 40 to 45 AR is a long time to upgrade, and maybe you do get some god-rolled, uh, you know, five-star items, but I wouldn't be hunting right now for this stuff, because you can get buy on blues. But if your weapon is trash, if your ascension level is trash, if your talents are trash, that's some really easy guaranteed damage instead of trying to gamble on artifacts. And that's the way I view it. With the weapons, with the talents, you know if you invest the time, if you invest the resources, you're going to get a bonus. Do the artifacts later, min-max later with those because they're just too RNG, there's too much luck involved that if you do get unlucky and you blow all your resources, you might actually fall behind. So there we go. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.